now. Yeah. One of the things, that, I don't know if you're famous for this, but one of your tricks yes. is you go through ISIS's bins. Yeah. I started doing this actually in Africa when I was covering um, Al-Qaeda in yeah. Mali. And I, and I did it, in fact, completely by mistake. You guys know that Timbuktu is a real place, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, when we got to Timbuktu, the locals led me to the buildings that Al-Qaeda had occupied. Mm -hmm. They had basically just fled, you know, sort of in the days before. Yeah. And they didn't have time to destroy or pack up the stuff that they had right. left behind. Yeah. And I found thousands of pages of the records. And that was actually the beginning of this beat for me because in those records was a completely different narrative about this group than I was getting from the officials I was calling of course, in of Washington. Course. Of course. Have you ever found anything really strange in one of their bins that's just like, whoa? One of the pieces of paper that I found in that stash was a letter from Al Qaeda. Yeah. Uh, reprimanding a guy called Mokhtar Belmokhtar, who was a very famous terrorist in Africa, yep. for a host of offenses, among them not turning in his expense reports on time. Really? <laughs> this so it's is Al Qaeda realized. expenses. Al Qaeda expenses wow. expects its fighters to yeah. turn in expense reports to justify cash advances. They need to track their resources. Yeah, right. And just just as I am going to go back to my hotel tonight and 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 you know put in my expenses yeah, for yeah. what I'm doing so that I can justify my cash advance. Yeah. Um, so too they have to. But I doubt yours is Semtex. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Right. So we hear your president uh, talking a lot about how. You know, he's winning, he's defeating ISIS. How do you assess Trump's attitude? Politicians come and go, and all of them, at some point, do the mission accomplished. Um, right, 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 right. They, no politician can, can get to the end of the, their term and look as if they've been weak on terror and look as if terror has somehow gotten out of hand. Yeah. Now, as it happens, Trump does have some successes to point to, which is the territorial defeat of the yeah. Islamic State in Iraq and Syria. So we've conflated two things, you know, ISIS and the territory holding aspect of it and ISIS the terrorist group. ISIS the terrorist group remains alive and strong. Yeah. It's continuing to try to attack the West. Thankfully, law enforcement is, is getting wise to their ways and has been foiling these attacks, but by no means are they defeated. Yeah. On the eve of 9-11, there were just a few hundred Al-Qaeda members all over the world. Just really? a few hundred, okay. yeah. Just in Iraq and Syria today. The United Nations and the Pentagon Inspector General estimate that there are at least 30,000 uh, ISIS fighters just in Iraq and Syria. Right. I think one of the ways that I think we can defeat ISIS is through human connection. Yes. Because um, there was something that I, um, I listened to that one of the members of yes. ISIS was a huge fan of a singer <laughs> that you wouldn't ordinarily think members of ISIS would be a fan of. George Michael? George Michael. That's right. <laughs> The idea that there is that there is a Muslim member of ISIS singing "Last Christmas," <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, it, but it, it, that the very fact that they're into George Michael, like there feels like this human connection there. Completely. Do you know what I mean? That Completely. you can you can win over. Yeah. But you talk about human connection. Yeah. And I think one of the ways that ISIS thrives is they're trying to eliminate the, the gray space. Yeah. And the gray space is the areas of the world where moderate Muslims are able to live in harmony with, with other people. Yeah. They want to create this complete cleavage where there's Islam on one side and every other religion on the other. And so what is happening in the world right now, where Muslims are being attacked, where girls wearing the hijab are having their hijabs uh, yanked off, all of that helps ISIS. Yeah. It helps them. Mm. It makes moderate Muslims, who are not the enemy, feel as if they are targeted. Yeah. So when we talk about human connection, I think that's something that all of us can do, um, is, is to make sure that our Muslim neighbors feel at home and Thanks, feel, nice. feel welcomed. What a remarkable person you are. It's lovely Thank to meet you. you. Thank, Thank you. you very much for coming on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank give it up for the wonderful Rukmini Kalamaki. That was really great.